Hello, hello, hello. So, I decided to do this screen record for those who are having trouble writing an introduction to a geography field project. And this introduction may not just be used for geography field projects, but any introduction. So, for you to write a good introduction, a good introduction has to specify why you are writing that piece of writing, right? It's like you're introducing your piece of writing to someone who is going to read it, or maybe in this case, if you're writing it for school purposes, it's for those who are going to read your work. So, for a geography project, for example, uh, I wrote this introduction on population. So, for, for your good introduction, first you have to start with definition of key terms. In this case, we are defining what population is. And we see that in this case, we define population uh, as all inhabitants of a particular place or how people and many animals live. So a good introduction started with first defining the key term of the research. If you are researching on population, define what population is. If you are researching on an agricultural topic, let's say horticulture, you can define what horticulture is. If you are researching on climate, for example, define what climate is. Then also, your, go your, your introduction should be just straight to the point. Write what you are going to talk about in the report. Don't start writing everything in the introduction. You are just saying what you are going to write about. Then, um, if we see the second paragraph says this uh, report will be simple, logical, and straight to the point. It will discuss population. You are saying what it will discuss. The benefits of population. So, your writing is going to uh, also say on the benefits of population, right? The disadvantages. And you are providing a solution in your report. And then... Um, the purpose of the report, you should also the, write in the introduction the purpose of your report. The purpose of your report is uh, about population and how population like affects us or how it may improve. And then you also write the duration of time the assessment took to uh, like research everything and, and, and like to compile it and everything. Yeah. So this was just quick and abrupt because mo most people have been like coming to me and you know uh, searching for me on various social media channels and uh, so that I can help them but I hope this video helps anyway and comment in the section down below if I should do like another video on how to write a literature review how to write aims and objectives and yeah how to write any part of your project because i realized that the project is the most watched video on my channel yeah so thank you guys and don't forget to subscribe because i'm your person yeah and if you need help don't hesitate to reach out